Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Farron, and for today, I am going to be talking about the brand new Dyson Corral hair straightener. This hair straightener is supposed to be better for your hair. Apparently, you can use less heat, therefore less damage when it comes to straightening your hair. Also, I know you can see that it is cordless. You can use this bad boy like while it's plugged up if you need it to still charge or without. You can also just sit it on this cute little, I have it right beside me, handy dandy charger. So like I said, so you can either take this, the plug that I have plugged into my wall right now, and you just whoop, attach it to the end of your flat iron straightener. And so you can use it while it is attached to this. Okay, so we're gonna power this bad boy on. Okay, so this only has, oh, it's not gonna focus. Anyways, it's super small anyway. So this only has a 330, 365 and a 410 heating setting that's gonna be very interesting like I'm not even gonna try 330 on my hair I already know Fred is not gonna do well with 330 did you hear that so that lit did you see how quick it heated up so that lets you know that it is already at 330 it's a little Fahrenheit indicates that it is 330 so that's pretty cool um, I'm just gonna turn you back off really quick. As you can see, the plates are supposed to bend and gather your hair, therefore um, causing less damage, like I said, and being able to gather your hair and straighten your hair in less time. So we are definitely gonna try that. Also, because this is cordless, it's really good if you want to take it traveling with you this little airplane doohickey right here, you are just going to pop that out, then you lock it. Just get that. So cool. I felt like in order to put this $500, yes, I said $500. You saw it in the title, you saw it in the thumbnail. This flat iron costs $500, okay? So I feel like in order to really put this to the test and see if it is even worth it, we are going to try it on my 4C hair. Now, I haven't watched any reviews of it yet, but I did watch a video the first day that it launched and I saw a hairstylist using it on a African American model who had textured hair. That texture wasn't nothing like this 4C hair on my head, okay? He highly suggested that you blow dry your hair before using the straightener. And I was like, I'm trying to like, I'm just wanna straighten and go if this is gonna cost me $500. So I decided that I will wiggle a little bit and I am just going to blow dry this side of my hair. But this side, I'm going to keep twisted and make sure that it is fully dry. And we are going to just flat iron this side straight out. And we are going to blow dry this side straight-ish. Not bone straight, but straight-ish. And then I'll let you guys see how that goes. If you've made it this far in this video, I'm just trying to say you should probably go ahead and subscribe. Where else are you going to get this 4C realness but here? So go ahead. Hit that subscribe, hit the thumbs up if you like this so Okay, far. so I'm going to start with the natural side of my hair and just kind of walk you through what I was doing and my mindset in it. Um, so in my mind, because of the flexible plates, I thought that I would be able to put more hair into it. I thought I would be able to flat iron my hair quicker. And so that's why the sections probably look bigger than normal, than typically suggest it when you are trying to straighten your hair, but that was my assumption. Also, as I'm straightening my hair, it's almost as if my hair is becoming more matted because 
After I do one pass and try to comb it, even with my wide tooth comb, it's almost impossible. As you can see, I went through it with a brush and I still can't get the brush really through my hair. I don't know why on God's green earth I kept trying to get this fine tooth comb through my hair, but I was trying to get Fred silky smooth using this straightener. Like, I just had real hopes and dreams that it was going to finally work, but keep watching and we'll find out what I really On to the blown out side. Now, the blown out side of my hair wasn't blown out to the best of my ability. Once again, I just assumed that this straightener was going to do most of the work. I feel as if you, if you are going to cost me $500, I really shouldn't have to do that much work. Like this should pretty much straighten my hair. Like, no matter how good of a blowout I do beforehand, I just assumed that the straightener would handle it and like silk it out for me. But as you can see, I'm still kind of tussling with it. Even on my blown out hair, I can't easily get the fine through comb to come through. The chase method just didn't really work with this straightener. Okay, so this is what it looked like when I had the natural side and the blown out side, and I was just like, no, we cannot, we are not ending this here. Like, look at the difference. Look at how horrible this looks. So, that's when I decided to do another wash day, just to get a really good, nice review for y'all. I washed and conditioned, and I made sure my hair, it did revert, so there was no heat damage. So, round of applause to that because I did three passes on my hair and there was no heat damage. My curls came back, so I'm not even worried. But um, if you are wondering how my hair got to this, it was because I did my wash day all over and I decided to go about this as if I was doing a normal hair straightening routine. and. As you can see, things weren't much better. Um, my hair came out, this is like two days later. Um, with me being 4C, I just, I don't ever, at home, I don't feel comfortable with my hair being bone straight because I know that's going to lead to heat damage. But for me to have done this at home, I feel like pretty good. Like my hair has movement and all of that good stuff. So, I mean, I wanted to show what it can do if you use it like a normal straightener. So, in closing, I just want to kind of give you the pros and cons and tell you some of how I really felt about this straightener. Um, great for travel. You know, the fact that it came with the little airplane doohickey and you can lock it and slide it and you have this amazing case that you can travel with, like, very, very well. Um, I like that it was cordless. You could do your hair anywhere. Cordless was good. 
I'll get back to more. I'll, I, I'll elaborate more on this cordless situation though. Um, I did like that it had an automatic shut off after 10 minutes. That's cool. Um, very necessary if you are easily distracted it's gonna beep at you it's very interactive i did i like that i like the sounds the noises it's a little exciting i like those little things like that and it's aesthetically pleasing like it looked really nice on my bathroom counter and the way that it did sit up very easy on the eyes but the cons this straightener is heavy like it is a high key workout and I mean if you're gonna put that in your luggage like you're adding to the weight and so I mean yeah it's cordless and yeah it has those things for you to travel but it's heavy I did not like that it only had three temperature settings like am I satisfied with my hair being straight to a certain extent yeah but I would have gone higher than 14 like can I get a 415, 425? I just don't like that you only had three temperatures to choose from. Um, I feel like a, a better, a bigger range of individual temperatures would work a lot better, especially for my hair type, because even with that all the way up, like I don't think you could ever get my hair blown like straight, straight, unless I'm I have a hell of a blowout this is just my personal opinion like I didn't like that it only stayed charged for like 30 minutes like as I did my hair this time I kind of, I just put it back on the charger each time so I like you might as well just have it hooked up to the cord if you have to continuously put it back on the charger to charge didn't save me any time so I don't really yeah, it's great that it's cordless, but 30 minutes being cordless doesn't really do much for me and my texture hair. Um, and I don't really know what the flexible plates were doing for my hair personally. Like, I don't, I don't think it gathered my hair at all. Well, that's all I have about this good old Dyson Corral. It just. $500 is just a lot of money to spend on a hair straightener that's just not gonna do magic on these 4C tendrils. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. But if you do enjoy content like this, please make sure that you leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And we will do this again next week. All right, bye.